EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the state capital of California, the Gold Rush City of Sacramento. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Bisons of Sacramento. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Manning. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. Territory now. It's first and ten at the 46. Off play action. Carmichael. But it's caught. Tompkins. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Looking to throw on second down, Carmichael. Rifles one incomplete. Trying to connect there with Rashad White out of the backfield. And it's third and short. You look at this Carolina defense. Now they've been a very good unit against the pass, defending at fifth best in the league. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB. They'd easily move it to the top five. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And the opening drive of the game yields three. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. Accepted and they move the ball forward. Ready, set, next, next. It's Young off play action. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is incomplete. 
zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. 47 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. A guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Young now. Jones collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The deuce is wild here. Second down and two with just about two minutes on the clock. A quick throw by Young caught out wide. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough okay, to argue right. against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Sanders is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. 
And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. back out there at the line ready for their next drive in the midst of well let's just say a not so rosy losing streak they've got the open week though coming up next weekend so you have to figure this to be a game that they dearly love to have oh indeed they have to have this one because that's something positive to take with you when you go away for a few days and it actually releases your mind if they lose this one that mind stays cluttered the entire time they're away and they've got to scramble to get back in sync when they start playing again. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. As quarterbacks like to do, he pushed it downfield on that throw. But I think that since he was outside the pocket and there was open space, it would have been a good time for his first carry of the game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Carmichael. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. Needed 13. They got 14 on third down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. And the result here, a pick up of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Back to throw again. Into space at the 45. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. 11 yards there, first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A first carry for the shot right. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second and six. Operating from the gun, Carmichael. Caught left side, Hopkins. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. drive hoping this second go around ends in six in good position first and ten 
Now back to the ground game with White. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. Well, looks like they'll move things around here. Opting to run again here with White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. from the gun. Carmichael eluding the pressure right. He finds his man complete. That's Manning. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That still is running back complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Panthers will get the football back. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Ready? Now a second down throw for Young. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Here now, a third and 20. To throw, Young. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown. Go back out on defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Here's the Panthers punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Carmichael. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Panthers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. 
Now, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, Ready. second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Following the interception, Young. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They certainly thought they had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. It's a second down run with Sanders. 56 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. This now a third and four. But another run here with Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. There's the Panthers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. now at the line ready for their next drive and with a little under a minute remaining we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive he finds his man complete it's Manning and he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down second and one at the 41 yard line to throw on second down, Carmichael. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Here we go. They'll send Marshall in motion left. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Young. on this snap. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Young working out of the gun. Touchdown, Panthers! Jonathan Mingo in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point.
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. A fast footwork by White. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. Out of his end zone comes Andy Isabella. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line can play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Oh, and now some trickery. They fake the spike. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that is kind of lined up incomplete. So they try to hit him with something you don't see too often. But it doesn't work out. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Young. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. It's Young on first down. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Chark. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are able to stretch out their lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Throwing to start the drive. Carmichael. And this is incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he's got his man out of the slot, complete. 
He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Makes it third and four. Now they'll audible to something else. From the gun on third down, Carmichael. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Dante Jackson picks it. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll just take a seat in the drop. Five yard line. At their own 25 yard line. Let's go now. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. He finds Hopkins complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards, a first down. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Ford. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Back to throw. Ford. Flushed out right. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. And he'll send the tight end in motion. Again, he'll drop to throw. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open. That he... There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders 
with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one... Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Still on his feet. Inside the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Rashad White, 75 yards. And the Bisons are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point right down the middle. And that will cut this lead down to 25. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Isabella now from his end zone, powering his way forward. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second down, back to Sanders. Pushing through the contact. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Ready? And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Smash red. Young to throw it. That is caught. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Now he's into the clear again. And he will be taken down. But a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Drill green. On the ball. Young off the play fake. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. And they're going to speed things up here. Young will set to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well, because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. Blue. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Here's Young from the shotgun. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. DJ Shark. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Sideline throw is complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. First grab for Thomas. It's good for a first down as well. They'll look to throw again. Here's White. They set up the screen. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. And for a second straight play, just nowhere to go thanks to this Carolina defense. And now they'll shift things around. Looking to throw. Ford looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Manning. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Back to throw. Ford looking left side and he's got a man that's Manning 
He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Off the play fake. Ford. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Here we go, set! The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but... They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Second down and eight. Trouble, 38, blue check. They'll go again with Sanders. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Hey, On play action, Young. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. And Young's going to throw it here. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for Carolina. 43 yards. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, go. pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Young to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Here we go, Shaq 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Talk about two sides of the ball across purposes because mercifully this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. The front seven, they've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. Looking to throw on second down. Ford, he's going to let it fly. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Throwing on third and long. Four. He finds his man complete. It's Manning. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. <laughs> and that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain. Still a ways to go, though. And is this...